What you just heard is the outrage from protesting Loyola students of the possible dismissal of the only black professor in an all-white English department. They aren't giving us the education that we deserve, especially going to a place that values itself on social justice and diversity, equity, and inclusion. Uh, we're not feeling that diversity, equity, and inclusion, especially considering that we have to result to having a protest in order just to be heard on campus. Dr. Heath is also the director of the African and African American Studies program. Many Loyola students are finding the situation to be unjust and unfair to Dr. Heath. They didn't really hear him out and they just kind of ridiculed against him because of their own privilege and power within this establishment. On Friday, Father Daffron, Loyola's interim president, sent an email addressing the situation. Loyola's YDSA Vice President Olivia Boatwright believes student protesting pushed administration to update students on Dr. Heath's dismissal. They had already had a response drafted and they scrapped it just because they didn't send it. Like they just decided that they weren't going to send it. This was something that they had already had in the works. Um, and just chose not to respond to students or Dr. Heath or any of the concerns until the demonstration. And it was sent, you know, as soon as we said by Friday, it was sent Friday morning. <laughs> um, so I think that it definitely facilitated like a response from university. Like I said, this fight is not over um, with a letter from Loyola. Now all that's left to do is to patiently await another response from faculty members. For more information, follow Loyno YDSA. This has been Emma Smithers and Tori Hardy reporting.